You know, one thing I've realized about ladies, when they are inside the relationship, ladies start getting comfortable for no apparent reason. They get comfortable. Then they go and say, oh, that man is a cheater. Oh, all men are the same. My sister, you got comfortable. When you enter the house like this, the first thing you remove your shoes, then you remove your weave, you hang on the floor. My sister, you're comfortable. You cannot be removing your shoes and your weave at the same time. My sister, you are comfortable. Adjust. All men know when ladies are brand new in a relationship, they are not comfortable. When they wear that thing over here, they always come and they tell you, babe, please tie it for me. Ladies, I'm speaking on the behalf of men, we don't like doing that thing. Especially if it's a pum pum madam. <laughs> now you have to stretch on this side and stretch on this side. Then there are seven clips. She wants you to clip all of them. Ah, my sister, it's too much. There are some professionals who do it with one hand. Some of us, we don't know. When she's new in a relationship, she gives you. When she's comfortable, she clips it from the front, then twists it to the back, and then she wears it like a handbag. Jesus! Ah, my sister! You're wearing it like a bulletproof vest! Ah. When they want to remove it and they're brand new, they'll come and say, Babe, please remove it for me. Then now we know what to do. When they're used to you in the relationship, the minute you enter the house, she remove her shoe, remove the weave, put there, you'll see her do. And then she'll remove it from here. Women are wicked, eh? Hey! Hey! When you're dating them like this, you go out with them on a date. They go and make their hair. You know, women know that good hair is attractive. The hair is so expensive, they cannot even scratch it. They slap it. Hello? When they get comfortable in the relationship, the whole day, they're putting stocking on the head. No apology. <laughs> when they're dating them, they come for a date. When they're coming out, high heels, six inches, skirt is short. Because ladies know, when a man see these two holes behind the leg here, they better go like, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> eh? When they're coming for a date, they wear short skirt. When they're passing in front of you, like, Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire. <laughs> when you marry her, put her inside the house. Two months, they'll be putting long, long wrapper down the assistant with a little Gigi. We men. <laughs> when you're dating them like this, they have not gotten comfortable in a relationship. When they come to the bedroom, they enter with something called lingerie. The men who know lingerie just do. <clears throat> the idiots who don't know. <laughs> lingerie is that cloth they normally wear when they come for sleepover on the weekend. It's look like a cloth and it's not a cloth at the same time. <laughs> It's like a translucent window. When she comes to the bedroom for sleepover, she enters with a lingerie like this inside the blanket. You're like, Jesus, this madam. She electrocutes you. When you marry her, she gets comfortable inside the relationship. She'll be checking in the bedroom with a t-shirt written here, Churchill Show. <laughs> Some people are wicked, eh? Which one? Kibaki Tosha. You ask him with Kibaki Tosha. Ah! Ah! Ladies, eh? Sengenge Jesus. Ladies, when you go to the bedroom, eh? Show up with some seduction, eh? Be something that will motivate the man not to do anything else, eh? When you're inside there, and you're giving the chairman soundtrack, Give him soundtrack that will motivate him. Eh? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! Very nice! Some women! Oh! 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 Ah! Ah! Hey! Jesus! What's happening with you? Are we two men? Motivate the man! Give the man a heads up! Happen. Women, you people are different. You are hard to understand. You people are like a touch screen, phone. You have to touch everywhere in the screen for something to move. For men, we are like Blackberry. There's only one button. You touch for every man. Hey. 
Hey, hey. Sometimes some of them you don't even have to that. Just look at the point. Hey, hey. So please, ladies, say. Eh? Let the man understand what is happening there. Eh? If you know, your golden place is your elbow. Tell the man, oh, Binna, mine is my elbow. Don't make me struggle with your neck for one hour. Then you'll be like, ah, one hour. And please, some of you, before you come for a date, take a shower. A man is being romantic. He goes to kiss the neck and only licks as he Ah, my sister. Hey. Clean it. Tell the man how you like it, eh? Then don't be a silencer. This thing is good. Everybody here is the product of it. Hey, boy, my line. Hey, hey. So please, tell the man what is happening. Tell the man what, you know, Babe, I'm coming in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. You don't just be there. You look like you have epilepsy. I beg. We are thinking we are killing you and you are enjoying it. We feel cheated. Tell me. Talk to me. That is why we are here. Eh? And ladies, learn to follow instructions. When you are there and a the man tells you, babe, don't move. My sister, don't move. Because if you move, don't ask me. Don't tell me you have come. Okay, what do you want me to tell you? Eh? What do you want me to tell you? Okay, I have gone. See your life. It is past midnight. It's allowed. I found one madam. She told me, Hobina, oh, uh, how are you? I told her, my sister, I will finish you. Fear me. Say, ah, I cannot fear anybody. I say, okay. We went outside in the parking lot. She saw my car. She was like, oh, Binna, you are driving a big car. I told her, my sister, everything in Nigeria is big. <laughs> we went to my house. When we got like this, I'm driving inside the parking lot. I said, oh, Binna, you live here. I told her, my sister, I told you everything in Nigeria. <laughs> we entered the house. I opened the door. Direct to the bedroom, open the door. She saw the bed king size. She was like, Hobina, you sleep here alone. I told her, My sister, I told you everything in Nigeria. She thought I was lying. It got to Bolingo time. I dropped the trouser. Ha! She said, Kai, more than me. I told her, My sister, I have told you everything in Nigeria. I clobber the madam. I pull them close. I enter the car park. Ha! I say, ah, my sister, are you also from Nigeria? Yeah. Uh, whoa! Whoa!